World Federation of Advertisers also watching the social media platform as some companies now putting their ads on pause. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama joins us live with today's developments. Jana. Julian Mike, today there was a small protest outside Twitter as well as an open letter to Musk from a global advertising association. A spokesman says that one company went private, others have privately uh, suspended ads as they watch what Musk will do next. In response to Elon Musk, who carried a sink into Twitter's San Francisco headquarters last week before his acquisition, protesters on Monday brought quite a different plumbing fixture. Flush Musk, dump Trump. They say they're concerned Musk will reopen the platform to Donald Trump and others who were banned for spreading misinformation and hateful speech. I have a few friends around the world who have deleted their accounts. They want nothing to do with Twitter because Musk has taken it over. For myself, uh, because Twitter is such an effective tool uh, to build solidarity with gay people globally, I'm staying on Twitter. Musk on Monday only posted, if I had a dollar for every time someone asked me if Trump is coming back on this platform, Twitter would be minting money. Musk fired Twitter's board of directors, according to SEC filings, and he said on Twitter, quote, this is just temporary without giving details. General Motors has announced publicly it has paused advertising with the platform. Advertisers will pull back and they will look and they will listen to see the tone and the tenor of the conversation and then determine whether or not it's right to go back in. Rob Rakowitz is co-founder of GARM, the Global Alliance for Responsible Media, which represents interests of the World Federation of Advertisers. It published an open letter to Musk calling for him to adhere to their standards for keeping digital media a safe space for customers and advertisers. Digital media safety is serious and that brand safety and the uh, advances that we've made, um, they're non-negotiable for advertisers. Rakowitz says Garmin advertisers are going to be watching Musk's moves carefully and the impact of any staff cuts. Technology is very good and can detect things like uh, nudity, cyberbullying and harassment. That takes a lot of nuance and good amount of uh, understanding and that's usually human review. The public is weighing in too. I don't think he's going to do what is best for this user base and for society at large, I think he, he bought it for selfish reasons. Yeah, it is concerning for sure, but that's everywhere. If it does change, I hope it's for the better. And tonight, Musk changed his title on Twitter from Chief Twit to Twitter Complaint Hotline Operator, though I doubt you'll be able to get him on the phone. Musk has not made any big staff cuts so far, but the Washington Post is reporting that he could be cutting up to 25 percent of staff, and he has floated an idea for charging people for getting that blue confirmation check. Julie? Yeah, one business deal affecting so many people in so many different ways. Jana, thank you.